All right, guys, so this is going to be a rain to snow video and then back to rain. Watch, because we're getting snow right here, but when we go back down the hill, it's not going to be much. It's going to be rain, I'll bet. 34 degrees right here where I'm at, and it's going to be 36 right down where we just were. see that guy home he's gonna be in big trouble sorry about that that's just some fool who owes me money who's, who's, who's avoiding me and uh, I'm telling you I might be mr. nice guy but I'm, uh, I'm definitely the wrong guy to play games like that but anyway look straight ahead how thick those clouds are right there on the other side of town they're getting a little weather over there but anyway so this is what's going on right now um, I don't think I'm gonna keep the video on it doesn't look like we're gonna really get much down there of anything until we get back into town. So I don't want to overwhelm you guys with too many videos, too many minutes. Peace We're out. Heading up into Sugarloaf. It's not snowing yet, but it's just so pretty up here right now with the blue skies. Oh my gosh, look what we're about to drive into. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Are you guys serious with this stuff, man? This place is so gorgeous. It just makes me sick. <laughs> oh wow, I really love this. Guys, this is just incredible. If I get any more popular up here, I might have to get buried in that cemetery. Alright, so it's uh, 36 degrees. We're getting a little drizzle again. And uh, I believe I just saw a snowflake. Turn right on Baldwin Lane, then take the second left. Shut up. Shut up, Mimsy! Alright. So, yeah, I was right. We are getting a couple Turn snowflakes. Right on we lane, are getting a couple snowflakes. Yeah. Love it. So, it was raining down there, and now we're getting some snowflakes up here. 35 degrees. Turn right on Manzanita Lane, then take the second left. 35 degrees. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. So, yeah, it's definitely snow. Lane. Definitely then snow up here and rain down there. How weird is that, guys? But I was right. Someone owes me two bucks. <laughs> oh, there's my, there's my freaking buddy Turn Kevin. Alright, guys. So for the privacy of my customer, I gotta shut off right now. Love you guys. Peace. Okay, so what we are doing here is we are going to go to the North Shore to avoid some of the traffic that we're, we're going to hit right up here. Alright. Had to flip that guy off real quick before I turn. Got to do it. Got to do it. Now it's 36 degrees like I said it would be down here. And it was 34 up there and we're getting drizzle again. What did I tell you guys? We drove from rain to snow back to rain. <laughs> Just so damn cool. Damn cool. Regarding the game today, man, it really sucks that, like, almost for some of the first time in my life, I don't care. 
I don't care about the Super Bowl. I don't care about it. Growing up, I was very fortunate. I've been to Super Bowls. I saw Dallas and Buffalo at the Rose Bowl um, when uh, Dallas won by like 50 points. It was like 92 or 93 or something. I was 12 or 13. And then I went to a couple World Series games in 1988. I was at game one when Kirk Gibson hit the home run off Dennis Eckersley. I was eight years old. I was there. Um, I've been to four NBA Finals games for the Los Angeles Lakers. The last one was the only game the Lakers lost in the 2000-2001 freaking playoffs. It was the only game they lost. Game one of the finals when Allen Iverson went off, I was at that game. That was my last my um, last one. And then, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I was going to go to a college football championship game, the BCS championship game, but it fell through last minute. I had health issues. I couldn't go. So, yeah, I've been super fortunate. We had season tickets to the Dodgers until I was about 29 years old, right behind home plate. So we used to always go. Um, we had form, form season tickets at the LA Form when it um, was back in the day. We had Senate seats, and we had um, – we had tickets for the Kings, for the Lakers, for every event there we had first choice and for all the sporting events we had our regular Senate seats. Um, when everything moved over to Staples Center we, we didn't re-up those seats. Um, but at Staples Center the Senate seats are called PR seats, premier level. Um, so I've seen a lot of games there but honestly I'm just not um, I've just been so freaking busy, and like, dude, I, I, I couldn't name one player on the Rams, which is which is sad. Like, I can name every player on the 1988 World Series Dodger team. Um, I can like I can name all the Lakers from 2006 back. Um, but yeah, it's just I don't know. Maybe when politics started getting involved in sports, it just started really just just turning me off because I. We live in California where we have to deal with enough ignorant people, <laughs> you know, who want all, all your hard-earned money because their derelicts don't want to work. Um, so, yeah, it, it's just been kind of rough um, regarding my whole sport thing. And baseball was, was what I, I was going to do. I was a starting, starting freshman pitcher at University High School in Irvine, one of the very few that ever started on the varsity team. And I had scouts from uh, Cal State Fullerton watching me pitch two games. And I thought that was going to be my future because that's all I did my whole life was baseball, baseball, baseball. And I got arrested at school. Well, not arrested, but the cop came, put me in, in handcuffs when I was 14 years old because I had weed on me. And um, I got kicked out of that school and that, that ruined my whole baseball career. Then I got into golf. I excelled right away. Um, almost made it to the uh, Hooters Tour. I was one stroke off. The qualifying match was at Strawberry Farms in Irvine, and I was one stroke off. Um, that was such a bummer. I was just, I was miserable for like weeks afterwards. Like my life was over. Um, because if I would have made it, then it, if I would have won one of those tournaments on the Hooters Tour, then it would have exempted me to get a, a freaking start on the PGA Tour. And that's when it, it would have been awesome. It, it, it could have gone from there to the Nationwide Tour and then the PGA Tour. But, uh, yeah, man. I really miss sports, but I, I'm just really sad that I'm not really into much of that you know, anymore. Maybe because I just don't have time. And, uh, yeah, that rain has turned back over to a kind of a snowy mix. So I thought you guys would be interested to know that. But anyway, yeah. So that's what we got going on. This is my story and I'm sticking to it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps. I'm going 42 miles an hour uh, on the North Shore. We are good. You're gonna be fine driving up here, guys, I assure you, but that's right this second if you're driving up right now. I don't know in the next couple hours what it's gonna be like. So just be very cautious, guys, please. And we're gonna turn down Stanfield Cutoff and then we are going to uh, Shut off the video after Stanfield. Oh my gosh, look at that over there. Look, see that side of town is getting blasted. Look at that. It's all coming. It's all coming. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it. Thank you, my friend. Okay, 
So straight ahead, man, we're gonna see some, some pretty hefty clouds. And then to the right, when we get here to Stanfield, to where we can have the view, you'll be able to see it's just insanely thick over there. And that's where the storm's coming from. Storm is coming from. Man, I'm telling you guys, it's so beautiful. All right, so that's it for now, guys. I love you. Oh, wait, no, we got to show you the other side. That's Baldwin's side. Look, it's still real fairly blue over there, but it looks like they're actually getting a little something over there. Good for them. Wow, look at that. All right, guys, peace out. Can't see Bear or Snow Summit because they're socked in. That's awesome. Love y'all.